Hey, good people. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. Today's video is going to be my honest thoughts on becoming a part-time reseller. So if you think you might like this type of content, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of videos once I post them. So let's jump right into it. So yeah, guys, I'm going to try not to make this too long. I want to get straight to the point um, and just give you guys my honest thoughts, my opinions, my feelings, all of that on becoming a part-time reseller. So yeah, um, when I started this, uh, what, what, three, four years ago, I was so excited about it. I found this app and I was like, ooh, I can do this. I can sell my items that I have because I would normally donate clothes. So I didn't know anything about these apps until I was just like, I think I was just on YouTube, you know, just kind of strolling through, looking at videos and I seen this commercial about Poshmark and all that. So I was like, yeah, I can do this. So that made me actually, you know, want to start a YouTube channel as well. I have always had been thinking about a YouTube channel, but I didn't know quite what I really wanted to talk about. So when I started this journey of becoming a reseller, that was the time for me to go ahead and, you know, start my YouTube channel. But um, anyway, when I started um, selling on Poshmark, um, everything was like so good. I mean, I was doing so well. I was with this company that I had been with for years and I was, you know, doing pretty well. The money was good and all that good stuff. I had just, you know, bought my home and all that good stuff like that. So I had the funds. I was able to do everything I needed to do by myself. So, yeah. But as time went on in this process, during this time when I had been selling, I have lost two jobs. And at this time, it was like a setback for me. So I had to kind of regroup. And at this time, I was still basically trying to, you know, resell and compensate for this and that. But as time went on, you know, it's like, I can't do it. I really was trying to just you know, continue to go ahead and just source and thrift like I was doing before, but I just had to just stop because I did not have the extra funds to actually, you know, source and thrift like I wanted to, like I was doing before. So now I'm at a place now, like I'm not really feeling it. I can't do what I really want to do. And it's really putting a bad taste in my spirit so it's like either i continue to try to do this or just let it go so that's why i decided to make the video about quitting poshmark and just focus on sending these clothes to thread up so but you know my thoughts my feelings on becoming a reseller like I said before, it, everything was wonderful. I loved it. I felt like I was just doing so well and I wanted this to be like a part-time, you know, small business for me, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know, I had everything lined up. I, you know, everything on my laptop, you know, my spreadsheets, you know, my inventory, all of this stuff. I just had it, you know, lined up, you know, you know, put in place how I really wanted it. And with the setback of me not having the extra funds to be able to source and all that stuff like that, it kind of threw a monkey wrench in everything. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm at a point right now, you know, God is trying to tell me it's time for me to move on to something else. I'm the type of person, you know, I talk to God. I try to listen to what he's telling me and listen to him and let him guide me the way that I need to go. So yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. I feel like I need to just focus on something else. Um, and even with my YouTube channel, I still will be making content, but it may not be just sourcing, thrifting, reselling and all that stuff like that. So I have other ideas and I've even spoken about this before in previous videos that I was going to start talking about other ideas that I actually have, you know, like I stated before, you know, other multiple streams of income, pop culture. Um, and just, again, it also may be about myself, you know, with me embracing getting older, me being a single woman, me being a single black woman, um, all of that good stuff that I feel like I have, you know, 
some value to actually put out there to someone, you know, um, you know, all of that, you know, even with me, you know, you, if you guys have been with me for a moment, you know, that I was natural, um, back now I'm actually relaxed with my hair and everything. And that's a journey right there. So I just have other ideas that I would like to talk about, but again, just still getting back to my thoughts and feeling about Poshmark. I hate that I am starting to feel this way about it. I'm, I don't have that get up and go that I had before when I was actually starting, you know, becoming a reseller. I'm not feeling that anymore. I don't have that feeding my soul anymore. And I feel like if I don't have that, why am I even trying to do this? Oh, I wanted to talk about that and just give you guys my honest feelings and thoughts on that. This is probably going to be my last video in regards to, you know, me sourcing and reselling and talking about reselling stuff. So I would like for you guys, if you, you know, for the ones that have been with me for a while and you have subscribed to my channel, if you would just stick it out with me, it may be some topics in here that you may like, you know what I'm saying? But I would really greatly appreciate it if you kind of hang in there with me because I am still trying to grow my channel. I would like to get it to a point where I can be monetized. Another stream of income for me. That is my goal, you know. And um, I, like I said, I would really greatly appreciate it if you guys would just stick it out with me. And if you don't, I would understand that as well. But please, you know, um, you know, give me that chance, you know, because there's a lot of things that I would like to talk about and I feel like it would be great value to someone, you know what I'm saying? Mother, sister, cousin, you know, whomever, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, um, but just getting back to reselling and also too, um, what's kind of like giving me a sour taste in my spirit also too, is that when you look at some of these resellers, um, and they talk about, you know, how well, you know, everything is going for them, you know, and, and for the life of me, I don't understand how anyone can actually make this their primary income to be able to pay their mortgage payment, rent payment, utility bills. I mean, you would have to be selling a whole lot of clothes to be able to do this. You would actually have, you know, in my opinion, you would have to be really selling some stuff. And see, that's another reason why I say it gives me a sour taste because I feel a lot of, I feel like a lot of these resellers are telling lies. They're not really being truthful. They're not being honest on what they actually are making and what they business, you know, model or situation is when it come down to the money they're making, because nobody never say how much they actually make. You know what I'm saying? Really break it down on what they're making. And from a lot of the ones I've, I have seen and just followed and watched, a lot of them do have significant others, you know, husbands, boyfriends, somebody is there to help them, you know, get to where they need to go. You know what I'm saying? And that's different for me because I don't have a husband. I don't have a significant other. I'm doing this all by myself. And even I'm just part time. So it's no way in the world that I would be able to flip this to be a full-time anything unless I was still at home with my mother, father, or whomever, or if I had a husband, significant, a significant other, or someone to that effect. Because I just do not see how anyone can just actually live off this alone by itself being their main source of income. I don't believe it. So that's why I say it gives me a, another sour taste in my mouth because I really felt at some point in time when I started this that I can actually, you know, grow this to, in, you know, into something that would be big, but no way. It's no way in hell that I would be able to do this just alone on my income. You see what I'm saying? So I have to be truthful and authentic with myself. I can't pretend to act like, this is something that's going to get me to where I need to be. No way. It's no way. I can't, I can't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. So that's why I say I have to be true and authentic with myself on moving to the, you know, just moving to the next thing that I need to do. You know what I'm saying? It's time for me to just let this side of this go and just move on to something else. I have other ideas. I have other things as in the making right now that I'm actually working on. So yeah. Um, but 
again, I just, you know, I wanted to talk about this because I just feel like some of these resellers are not being honest. They're not being honest. They're not being truthful. And then you have the ones that's also, and I hope that I'm not jumping from one place, you know, one topic to the next, but then also too, like in my previous video, when I talked about Nicole State, and then you have these people out here that's, you know, that's scamming people. That's just not, they're not, they're not true. They're not real. They fake, they're scammers. And that puts another sour taste in my mouth because she has a lot of followers and then people still watch her videos. I mean, faithfully, you have people that watch her videos and it's like, what? You mean to tell me this is what you like? This is what you get value from, from somebody that actually stole from someone that actually, you know, did all of this to people, you know what I'm saying? Ripped them off, you know? So that's another thing that kind of like puts a sour taste in my mouth, you know, come on people, you know, be real. You know what I'm saying? Be real. But I know people like, you know, they love negative stuff. So maybe that's the reason why they follow her. I don't know. You know, watch her videos or whatever. I don't know. People just love, I think people gravitate to negative whatever. But anyway, <clears throat> I just wanted to touch on that. And like I said, I didn't want to make this, I didn't want this video to be entirely too long. I just wanted to talk about, you know, my thoughts and feelings on becoming a, a part-time reseller and just giving you guys heads up on me, you know, changing my content and have it go a different way. And again, like I said, I would really appreciate it if you guys would stick it out with me, you know, follow along with me and um, continue on this journey with me. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Like, comment, and share this video. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. You guys take care. Bye-bye.